Bond has entered the chat. Hey guys, Harry Thomas here and welcome ladies and gentlemen to this uh, late to the party movie news update. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm sure uh, you are all aware uh, by now that uh, Amazon have uh, officially uh, bought uh, MGM, the studio behind uh, James Bond, for point four billion dollars. Uh, Woo! Uh, so, what does this mean for uh, the uh, Bond franchise, and most specifically for No Time to Die, uh, the upcoming fifth and final Daniel Craig Bond movie? Well, uh, let's find out. So, getting to the point, is Amazon requiring MGM a good news or bad news? Well, in my book, it's an amazing thing, as this is a golden uh, opportunity uh, for, for Bond and and and, and uh, the franchise will uh, get a, e even more promotion than ever and, and you know how Disney Plus streams every single Disney movie plus uh, every uh, single uh, studio and property that Disney uh, has purchased now now that Disney has become the biggest uh, uh, empire uh, in in the uh, entertainment world, uh, we could be seeing a Bond Plus on our hands, that's what Amazon could become, uh, st streaming all of the, the Bond movies from uh, the sh uh, Sean Connery, uh, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, uh, Pierce Brot, and then uh, Timothy Dalton and and of course the Daniel Craig era with even No Time to Die potentially uh, being available on Amazon uh, to watch whenever you want, and and as well as all the Bond movies, maybe they'll show the unofficial movies on there, like Never Say Never Again, or, or and the nineteen uh, sixties uh, uh, Casino Royale, uh, and and some of the uh, Bond merchandise uh, should be all there on on Amazon, and including uh, other MG. MGM properties uh, that go beyond Bond, like uh, the the Hobbit's uh, trilogy, for example, because MGM did help Peter Jackson make uh, that underrated trilogy, and uh, I'm uh, uh, do. I have regularly ordered off of Amazon. Amazon, when it comes to ordering things, is is my best friend. So, if the Bond movies are on Amazon, then then I would. Then you could consider me uh, a uh, regular and prouder uh, cu customer <laughs> of them, and uh, and this uh, news uh, thankfully won't change the cinematic release plan for No Time to Die. It will never just uh, go to streaming. It will always get its cinematic release uh, first. Yeah, Barbara Broccoli, producer, she has confirmed that uh, the movie will still premiere in in theaters or in the uk on september 30th and in the us in october as planned uh, i mean it's just too large a movie for for just a streaming alone uh it has a 301 million dollar budget for for crying out loud and uh, and and amazon are not the first uh, uh, major company to reach out to MGM to try and acquire them. I mean, Netflix attempted to uh, a acquire uh, them uh, last year, but uh, MGM uh, re re requested and commanded uh, too much cash uh, from Netflix. They were they were commanding like uh, six a uh, billion dollars up front if uh, Netflix wanted to get their hands on Bond. They, they were not going to uh, sell themselves uh, lightly. Uh, but uh, but uh, And thank goodness uh, Amazon brought to uh, MGM and not Disney, because Disney doesn't need to own everything. And I cannot see James Bond going on to Disney+. Plus. I mean, 007 and... Uh, Mickey Mouse, they're they're simply incompatible. Uh, but so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, 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 now uh, hope that uh, uh, the uh, two months until No Time to Die just uh, fly by uh, because I am 
I am gearing up to review uh, that movie now and, and will complete my remaining Bond reviews uh, first. Oh, and sadly, Lea do Madeline's actress, has just recently tested positive for a COVID-19. So that is that is awful. <laughs> Poor thing. I, I really hope uh, she s- soon recovers and, and will be able to attend uh, the premiere of, of No Time to Die in, in a couple of months. Uh, so... So, uh, yeah, yes, uh, I, uh, I, I will, we'll see, uh, what uh, Amazon, uh, do, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with James Bond for, from here on. I am, I am sure that, uh, they won't m- muck it up, uh, when the, uh, uh, James Bond after Daniel Craig is cast. So yeah, I know you all miss my uh, Bond uh, reviews are terribly. Oh God, uh, going through the Brosnan era is going to be like going for a punishment. Uh, but uh, uh, thankfully, after that, uh, I uh, will uh, be in for a treat uh, with the uh, Daniel Craig era. Well, I love you guys. Thank you. Fortunately, hope you guys enjoyed this update. And what are your thoughts on Amazon? Uh, buying uh, MGM. Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.